Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a Pluralsight Author. This is a part of the free video series on top 50 most frequently asked questions on ADO.net. Let us get started. What is the difference between data reader and data set? Which is again a very important question in the interviews. As it is very essential for a developer to be aware of the differences between these two. The most common answer for this question is data reader is read only and forward only whereas data set is a collection of tables. Now let me explain the major differences which helps in explaining the concept better. Data reader is used to retrieve read only cannot update manipulate data back to the data source and forward only cannot read backward or random data from a database. It provides the ability to expose the data from a database while data set is a collection of in memory tables. Data reader fetches the records from database and stores in the network buffer and gives whenever request. It releases the records as query executes and do not wait for the entry entire query to execute. Hence very fast as compared to data set which releases the data after loading all the data in memory. Data reader is like a forward only record set. It features only one record at a time. So very less network cost compared to data set which fetches all rows at a time. That is it fetches all data from the data source at a time to its memory area. As one row at a time is stored in memory in data reader, it increases application performance and reduces system overheads. Well, there is more system overheads in data set as it fetches all the data from the data source at a time in memory. As data reader is forward only, we can't fetch random records. We can't move back and forth. While in data set, we can move back and forth and fetch records randomly as per requirement. Data reader fetches data from a single table while data set can fetch data from multiple data. Data reader can have data from a single table so on relationship can be maintained while relationship between multiple tables can be maintained in data set. Data reader is read only so no transaction like insert, update and delete is possible while these transactions are possible in data set. Data set is a bulky object that requires lot of memory space as compared to data reader. Data reader is a connected architecture. The data is available as long as the connection with the database exists while data set is a disconnected architecture that automatically opens the connection, fetches the data into memory and closes the connection when done. Data reader requires connection to be open and closed manually in code while data set automatically handles it. Data set can be serialized and represented in XML so easily passed around to other tires but data reader can't be serialized. Data reader will be best choice where we need to show the data to the user which requires no manipulation. While data set is best suited where there is a possibility of manipulations on data. Since data set can be serialized, it can be used in WCF services and web services that will return retrieved data. But data reader can't be serialized so it can't be used in WCF service and web services. When you need to navigate through the data multiple times, then data set is better choice. Example, we can fill data in multiple controls, but data reader can only be read once. So it can be bound to a single control and requires data to be retrieved from each control. Hope you are clear with this question. See you shortly with the next most frequently asked question in ADO.NET. If you are a Pluralsight subscriber, you can watch my course ADO.NET by example to understand ADO.NET in detail with various examples. Please check out the following URL 
https colon slash slash www.pluralsite.com slash courses slash adio.net by example. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. This encourages me to produce more and more free videos. Yours, Shaker.